Innovate, invent, and unleash growth now. Leverage the power of digital to make your organization resilient, responsive, and ready to scale. Set strategy and execute along the three dimensions of digital transformation to emerge stronger and lead the future of aerospace and defense. Time to fly beyond. So if you look five years ahead uh, for Airbus, how, how much will, will the company have changed? I think um, five years down the road, we are out of COVID-19 and the world will have changed a lot. Uh, it's difficult to know exactly what will have changed and how, what the world will look like. Um, Airbus will still be an aerospace company. Um, I think we will have adapted to that new situation we will have invested in technologies to prepare the future, be it in defense, in space, and of course, uh, in commercial aviation. So I think it's a lot about adaptation. The world is going faster and faster. And one of the skills that company really need to have is ability to change, to adapt. I think that's one of the skills of Airbus and uh, we'll keep uh, having that in the very focus of the company. Do you think that the, the current industrial footprint will be sustainable for the future and for that time, given the downsizing of the, of the commercial business right now? Well, we see a short-term downsizing that is very significant. Um, five years ahead, we'll be out of COVID-19. I think a very large share of the commercial aviation will have recovered, maybe uh, will be even larger than what it was in 2019. So I anticipate that we will again have a very large commercial airplane business in, uh, in five years. Um, we have an international footprint. Airbus is a global company. We are in, in the Americas, we are in Europe, we are in Asia and mainly in China. And I think this will be an asset moving forward. So uh, still uh, the center of the group being in Europe, but very present um, in the Americas and China and Asia. And I think this is something that will grow. The world will be probably more scattered um, after this uh, COVID-19 uh, crisis, but Airbus will remain global and we are really, really uh, very proud and also uh, uh, really very much looking forward to stay in those regions and grow and be present and contribute to the communities and the success of aviation uh, in, those, uh, in those regions. So that's something that will remain probably. So France and Germany have uh, launched support uh, packages for the uh, aerospace industry in Europe. Do you think that these packages in particular, as far as technology are concerned, are, are, are uh, accelerating innovation? Mm. I think the um, general environment uh, with COVID, with health uh, is more and more uh, present. Um, it's quite obvious that there is an acceleration in the expectations on the clean aviation that we had before, but that are even stronger. Um, there is a sense that uh, not to waste the COVID-19 crisis, it's on technology that we have to invest now. And yes, obviously, this is an accelerator. Uh, I'm very happy, by the way. I think that's the right direction to take. And we, Airbus, will do our very maximum to take benefit of those uh, uh, support packages and, um, and progress towards the uh, plane of the future that will be a decarbonized plane. Mm -hmm. Also speaking about five years from now and uh, market share this time, do you think that is there's going to be a permanent shift in Airbus's favor given all the problems that your main competitor has with uh, the crisis plus uh, the max issues? I think first uh, everybody has a lot of problems to deal with given the uh, COVID-19 situation and, and what it requires for aviation. Uh, we're not really looking at market shares in this very moment. We are looking at adapting ourselves um, with our customers to this very challenging situation. Uh, I'm sure our uh, competitors, main competitor, will find their ways and uh, we'll see later uh, what the situation looks like. It's too early to say, I would not speculate. The situation has changed very quickly in the last two years, so it's not unlikely that many other things will change and therefore we not speculate. We focus on what we have to do, doing the right things for Airbus and for our customers. Mm. 